this is Genevieve Rossi, and you're watching Tony has nine figures. Oh, wait, that's ten. Nine. Okay. <laughs> what is going on, people? Day number nine of the 31 Days Half October series that I'm doing right now. For those of you who don't know what it is, I'm doing 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days. I'm doing it a little different than most because a lot of people are doing it right now. Check the description to see everybody else who's doing it. <clears throat> but I'm doing it more indie horror and I'm doing it in alphabetical order. So for those of you who didn't see the title or are just watching this from random, I'm going with I and the movie I went with is It Stains the Sands Red. This is a newer one put out by... Um, put out by Dark Sky Films. Uh, it's directed and written by Colin Minahan. It's also written by uh, Stuart Ortiz. It stars Brittany Allen, Juan Redinger, hopefully I said that right, Merwin Mondesir, among many others. So pretty much what this is, it's a different take on a zombie movie. You know, zombies are, you know, in the main front, and most of them are, you know, pretty much the same. You're running away from zombies, trying to survive, and whatever. This one is different. I mean, it is trying to survive, but it, it's take, it has a different take on it. Pretty much, it starts out with uh, two people stuck in the desert. They get stuck in the sand, and they don't know what to do. They have to get to a certain, uh, pretty much, place. They have to get to a, uh, I think it's a bunker or whatever it's called, where airplanes are in the middle of the desert so they can, you know, fly away and get away. They have a checkered past. They, you know, you, you can tell these people need to leave. They have to get out. But anyway, like I said, their car gets stuck in the sand in the middle of the desert. And as this is going on, there's a zombie apocalypse. So they're pretty much just, you know, struggling to, you know, they're in the middle of the desert. So the, the one thing I do must say to start with this is I like how they interact with the desert. Meaning some movies, you're in the middle of the desert and you don't act anything different. You don't whatever. Some movies I've seen, it's, you know, it's, you wouldn't tell if they're in the middle of the desert or if they're, you know, in the middle of a Times Square and whatever. Anyway, you know, they... They need water rations. They need to eat. They're getting tired and everything. So that I definitely dug a lot. But um, pretty much what happens is these two people, they run into a zombie and the one guy gets killed. And now it's just this woman by herself in the middle of the desert trying to get to her destination. But, you know, having a tough time getting there again. You know, she has a water ration, she has a food ration and all this stuff. So it's pretty much survival, not only for, you know, the zombie, but now it's survival against the elements of nature and stuff. So I really thought that was cool. And, uh, you know, as the movie is going on, you feel you realize why the zombie is after her. Not only because pretty much they're the only two people in the middle of the desert, but because there's another reason. I'm not going to get to that, but, it, you know, it's a pretty cool thought and a pretty cool reason. But, um, you know, as she's going through the desert, pretty much it's the zombies, her only other means of social a social life or whatever so as she's going she's talking to the zombie i guess going through her own thoughts and her own um you know uh the evils in her life or whatever you want to call it she's going through it so that's pretty cool too she becomes almost like a a strange relationship kind of deal she almost becomes friends with the zombie kind of, like it, he's there to listen i guess as she's just rambling on and trying to walk away as she's walking very slow because she's tired the zombie is you know just following her and he it doesn't seem to get tired it doesn't seem to need water or anything so it's you know she's at a disadvantage at this point so pretty much that's the rest of the movie i don't want to get too much into it because there are there's uh, other things that happen at the end of the movie but pretty much it's her trying to survive through this you know zombie apocalypse in the middle of the desert so that's pretty cool and then other characters come along and uh, I don't want to go way too deep into it. You have to check it out. But definitely, if you're into zombie movies, again, it has a different... You know, certain movies, they're all the same. But there are, you know, Batteries, another zombie movie that's a little bit different. 
this one definitely has a different take on it so i say definitely go ahead check this one out i'll leave the trailer or the link to the trailer and i'll leave the link to where you can purchase this off of amazon that's where i got it so uh again check the uh, the description for everything i'm posting other people's 31 days of halloween 31 days of horror i'm posting all my other sites uh, i got an instagram where i show off my movies i got a twitter i got a facebook fan page i got a horror amino i started up one of those um i think it's called stardust or whatever where it's uh short uh reactions or uh reviews i guess you want to call it on uh an app so i started one of those up so I, I didn't put the uh the link to that as well but check that out uh if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because i'm on a race to a thousand subscribers if i get a thousand by the end of october i'll do a big giveaway uh in november so that's something you know for you to find out hit that little bell button if you want to see more of my reviews and uh yeah i guess that's about it so definitely pick up it uh stains the sand red and uh yeah so check the show notes for everything i talk about until until tomorrow i'll see you if you found the review you just watched enlightening and you want more of them go ahead hit that subscribe button in the corner and check out all the other reviews i have such as horror pack reviews and netflix and chiller if you want to check out all the other things i have go ahead and check out my instagram where i show off the movies i have behind me or check out my twitter where i post all my videos and more if you want to do that go ahead hit those buttons and until next time i'll see you